G'day, it's Two, and this is my first look review of Black Ops 2. Um, I'm looking forward to this game because I really enjoyed the last game, so hopefully it is going to be alright. I'm not going to give you too so much of a preview country. of the game, I'm just going to show you snippets, just to show you what the game is going to be like. Uh, just a quick look of what you see when you first put the game in. This is sort of like your menu hub. Um, during it, you'll be to ask, uh, do you, you know, how with the last game, how if you wanted to uh, be able to see slightly gory scenes or more mature scenes to choose if to see them or not. Uh, this is just your little setting, set up brightness, screen size. Later on in the review, you'll see um, some multiplayer that I'll do um, tonight. I should say, if you're watching this tomorrow, last night. Um, and uh, you'll see me get noobed for the first time. Should be pretty cool. Got your your basic settings. It's even got sound system settings, which is uh, quite different. If you, especially if you get a home theater system or uh, sort of uh, 7.1 channel uh, headphones. Now, as far as I know, this is running on the original game engine. There's the graphic content one you have to choose. Uh, so I'm not expecting the graphics to be amazing, no, at least not to the level that Battlefield is. Um, so far I've seen the graphics and I would say the graphics would be probably maybe a 7, 7.5 out of 10. I believe they look fairly dated, which is not too bad because they're convincing enough to sort of bring along you in the storyline and show you exactly how things are going to look and run and they're convincing enough so I'll excuse it. She looks cool. Pretty well options in multiplayer and zombies are pretty well exactly the same. Uh, they're just different settings. COD TV, leaderboards, theatre, custom games. And we'll go and uh, check out a bit of multiplayer. Just the uh, menu, not the actual gameplay yet. Control-wise, it pretty well controls exactly the same as Black Ops, the original game. Uh, very fluid, easy to control. Going to be uh, heaps of fun to jump in a bit of multiplayer. And of course, uh, I believe if you get the Elite, it's 4,000 Microsoft points, which in Australia is about 64 bucks for the uh, four map packs that will come out over the time of the game and I believe if anything else does come out it comes out part of those packages. Pretty well the menus are very similar except there are some slight modifications to what the game was like. I don't know if you can look for local games. I know with the last Black Ops you could actually look for local connections. Uh, I don't believe I've been able to find it yet to find that, but uh, this is your barracks. This is where you uh, set up weapons and bits and pieces, which is similar to the original game. I'm not sure exactly what league team is. Uh, leaderboards for different uh, game modes, prestige, except that there again. Um, don't really care too much about that. Now, I'm going to definitely go on Veteran um, with what I've played so far easily. If you can't play on Veteran, you're going to be hopeless in multiplayer. Now, I'll show you a bit of in-game graphics. I'm not going to give away too much because I don't want to spoil the story because a lot of reviews do. This is just a first look oh, review, just exactly how I feel about the game when I first no! played it. No! I need help over here! Hold on! That is the in-game graphics. The it will flow on in a sec into actual movement where you can move around. That's in-game right there. 
The graphics are quite good from a distance, but close up in a couple of sections, I have noticed it does show its age. But it's it's convincing enough for what you need it to be. Do we have confirmation on his location? They've been moving him from one location to another. Ah, oh, and uh, when you first. Oh, that was a grenade. When you first jump into the game where you can actually move your character around, just get ready because there'll be people running directly at you. And these guys have definitely got something about machetes, so be really careful. The old mortar tap and throw. Uh, control wise, it feels very fluid. Um, no glitches or bugs in the controls. Uh, pretty well, you should be able to pick this up if you've played any shooter, and there's just a couple of tiny, small little sections where you'll have to get used to button bashing and stuff like that. But other than that, it zooms in and out pretty well the same. Graphics are, are good enough. Like I said, I'd probably really only give it maybe a seven and a half be pushing it to give it an 8 out of 10. I have seen better. It does seem a bit aged in some sections, but in others you think, wow, this looks fantastic. this on veteran and as you can see I'm not getting hurt too much. Um, I will admit this is the first time I'm playing this game so I'll die a couple of times until I get used to what I need to do. And here's a little cool section on the helicopter. Work, Hudson. There's a couple of MG trucks targeting you. I believe I just knifed him or I shot him in the neck, I'm not exactly sure because I don't know what button I just hit. Um, so far I would give this for my first look review, I would give it at least a good 8.5, be pushing it to get a 9, we'll say 8.5 to 9 out of 10. Um, graphically it does show its age in some sections, um, but it's convincing enough to give you a good game. And so far with what I've played, it's it's pretty well exactly what you would expect from Black Ops. It's going to give you a fun romp, give you a really good multiplayer, and I'll show you that just after the review. Um, that I'll be doing a bit tonight. And um, yeah, I definitely, if you're not quite sure about it, hire before you buy. Always good to do that just in case to make sure exactly you like the game, not just someone telling you you should like it. Um, I'd go, yeah, a good 8.5 to 9 out of 10. Um, definitely worth the money to get this game because you're going to get a lot of people playing it, so definitely a good social team game. Um, so hire before you buy if you're not quite sure. If you're a COD guy or ever played Black Ops before, you're going to love it. It plays very well and uh, should be pretty cool. I'll let you go, you keep watching, and uh, watch the multiplayer, and I'll shut up. I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Shit! We're going down! Shut up, Mason! 
We've probably attracted the attention of every MPLA foot soldier in the area. We need to move.
dropped him. Oh shit. Sorry about that. Stitched him up. Shoot him. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Don't even know where I was. Hostile uh, lightning strike. Uh, I'll fight the floor up. Oh, I just got shot in the back. Yeah, as so I went around through. Writing host. Ah. Yep. Yep. Oh. Third down. Shut out. Oh. Yeah, I just started to shoot him and he got me.
this. Oh no! Oh, you grab your nuts. <laughs> yeah.